welcome to my brand new channel. My name is Teacher Sally. Basically, I will be uploading uh, videos in mathematics and science. I'm very passionate about teaching kids. I am a student pursuing pure one education. I love seeing kids excel. I'm here to simplify the areas that students tend to have difficulties in. I'm here to make learning fun. I'm going to make lively sessions for you guys so that you can enjoy it while watching them. So today's lesson, we are going to do science. In under science, we are going to do the teeth. So under teeth, we first deal with the structure of a tooth. The truth has its own structure. And first of all, a tooth, a tooth structure is divided into two. We have the crown and we have the roots. The crown has its parts. For example, we have the enamel and the dentine under the crown part. So the enamel is the hard protective layer, outer layer that is used for covering the crown. Then uh, the second layer, we have the dentine layer. So it is the second protective layer that also pro covers the, the nerve of the tooth. Then we have the pulp, also known as the nerve. So these are soft uh, middle part of the of the tooth that has uh, that supplies blood since it, since it has blood uh, capillaries and the nerve endings. Then for the next part, we are going to check on the different types of teeth. We have four different types of teeth. We have the incisors, we have the canines, we have the premolars, and we have the molars. We'll start off with the incisors. We check out on the structure of the incisor. As we can all see, it has one root and it is chisel-like shaped and that makes it to uh, that makes it its function to be cutting food. So we want to check on the number of the incisors in our in, in our teeth structure. So we have that uh, they are the front the, we have four frontal teeth uh, in both upper and the lower jaws. So four upper and four lower and that makes the number eight. Then, the, these two central, uh, these two incisors, the middle ones, they are known as the middle, in, the central incisors. Then, then the ones that are uh, adjacent to the two central incisors are known as the uh, lateral incisors. So, uh, like we have said, they have one single root. Then the next type of uh, tooth is the canines. So for the canines, there are four in number. We have two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw. They also have one root with them. Then uh, they are all. They have one. Um, they are sharp pointed, and that makes their function to be tearing of flesh or of, or uh, tearing of food. Uh, they have the longest uh, root, and they are and their pointedness is just a single pointed scab, not two or three, just one. Then we have the third one, which are the premolars. For the premolars, they are also known as the bicuspids. So they have two uh, roots uh, first of all they are behind and adjacent to the canines so for these premolars uh, they are used for crushing of food this is because they are rigid in nature and uh, for the um, they have uh, they have three to four cusps then they are eight in number four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw and lastly we have the molars molars have uh, three roots and for the three roots uh, Okay, for them, they have broader services with four to five cusps, and they are they are used for grinding food. So next, I want us to check on the differences between deciduous teeth and the permanent teeth. Uh, for the deciduous teeth, they are also known as the primary teeth or the milky teeth. So for these teeth, they are the teeth that grow in babies once they are about six months. Then later on, they shed for them to grow the permanent teeth. So for the deciduous teeth, they are 20 in number, and for the permanent teeth, they are 32 in number. So another difference between the deciduous and the permanent teeth is that uh, for the deciduous thin teeth, they, uh, they have a thinner enamel than the permanent teeth. We checked out on the enamel as we were starting in our lesson, and we see that it's the protective layer that covers the crown. So uh, we want to look on how uh, this 20 is coming up. So they have uh, eight incisors, four in the upper jaw and uh, four in the lower jaw, making them eight. Then they have um, four canines, two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw. Then they have, they have eight molars. For the eight molars, we have four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw. Note that in the primary dentition, we don't have premolars. They have four upper molars and lower, four lower molars. 
Then for the permanent teeth, we have 32 teeth. So let's uh, look at uh, the co the what comprises of the 32 teeth. We have 8 incisors, we have the 4 upper and 4 lower. Then for the canines, there are 4, 2 upper and 2 lower. Then for the premolars, they are 8, 4 upper, 4 lower. Then for the molars, they are 12. And that makes them a total of 32. So in the deciduous teeth, lastly, we have the, uh, we have the molars. Note that in the primary dentition, we don't have a uh, premolars. So they have uh, eight molars. We have the four upper and four in the lower jaw. Then we have we go to the permanent teeth. We said uh, earlier that uh, the permanent teeth comprises of thirty-two teeth. Let's look at what uh, how we break them down from incisors to the canines and to the molars and the premolars. So first of all, the thirty-two comprises of uh, eight incisors. Four in the upper uh, jaw and four in the lower jaw. Then for the canines, they are two in the upper jaw and uh, two in the lower jaw, making them four. Then for the premolars, they are eight in number, four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw. Then lastly, we have the molars, which are twelve in number. Then we have some problems that are related to the to to the teeth, and one of the problems is um, bad breath, also known as halitosis. So for the halitosis, how we can deal with this bad breath is by taking healthy foods, also visiting the, the okay, going for your regular dental checkups, and also making sure that you brush after every meal. The other problem that you have, another dental problem, is a gingivitis. It's a gum problem which is caused by inflammation, inflammation of gums. Then the third problem we also have the tooth decay, also known as cavities. Uh, these cavities are caused when uh, you have sticky mat substances in your teeth then you take sugary foods or uh, the starch then they when they combine they produce uh, they produce acids that attack the tooth enamel and then the enamel erodes and that's what causes cavities i hope you enjoyed today's lesson i am looking towards getting to you more in the future if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and like share and comment below if you have any queries you can hit my email i'll put it down there in my description so let's meet in my next video